Bishop Walsh here. It is Wednesday. Thank you for checking in. It is May 25th. And sadly, to start off again, these Wednesday announcements like last week, there was that tragic shooting in Buffalo, and last night, or yesterday, we know of the tragic shooting in Texas. I offered Mass this morning for all the deceased uh, from that tragedy. Please keep them in your prayers. The sadness uh, must be overwhelming for the parents and anyone involved in knowing those uh, innocent children that were killed. So we pray for uh, the end of violence in every form. We continue to ask God's blessing to enlighten us with his wisdom and his grace to keep us uh, mindful of the love that should animate us and not the hatred that divides us. I uh, also want to point your attention to uh, our sister diocese in Nicaragua. Uh, Bishop Alvarez, it was reported, is going to be on a fast to try to draw attention to the fact that there has been persecution and harassment of the church probably for a very long period of time there. And uh, it's gotten to a point where he feels that there needs to be some drastic action to be able to try to draw the world's attention to it. So as their sister diocese, I would ask all of us to, in a particular way, remember Bishop Alvarez and all of the people there who are striving to just live their faith in a, a, a spirit of freedom and not to have the harassment or the constrictions on, on their expression of their faith or to have their voice silence when it comes to pointing out uh, things of injustice within their society or within their government. So there's always that tension we know, but we pray that uh, Bishop Alvarez witness and pray for his health, that he will be sustained by God's grace in the midst of uh, what he's doing as a fast and his prayer for justice. I just want to give everybody uh, an update on the progress that has been made here in Gaylord. I know so many people have been interested and in asking about what the experience of the aftermath of the tornadoes has been. Uh, first of all, it seems like the report is in that it was about 16 miles long. It was on the ground on and off, I guess, for about 20 some minutes and uh, about 200 yards wide and it was a category three and so that means winds of 150 miles an hour so it was a very powerful strong uh, tornado system that worked its way through here in Gaylord uh, but the response has been tremendous it seems like at, in the immediate 48 hours afterwards there was a great outpouring of support with volunteers who came and helped clean up and and brought the heavy equipment you know the chainsaws and dumpsters and uh, trailers that can haul off things to places where at least they can begin to have some semblance of, of the cleanup. There's a lot of volunteers that came. Uh, we want to thank our students at uh, St. Mary's Cathedral School who went out into the neighborhoods and tried to help uh, as best they could with the cleanup effort. Uh, we want to thank uh, all of the professionals, all of the, the utility workers who work probably night and day to restore power uh, very, very soon. Uh, afterward, it seemed for almost 100% of uh, the customers in our area. So there was a lot of concerted effort. There seemed to be a well-prepared uh, response. Thank all the first responders. And we continue to pray for uh, those who have been injured. I understand some of them are still in the hospital. We're here at the cathedral and uh, in front of the Blessed Mother asking her prayers and in intercession for all uh, these causes, all of these important matters of our world and of our local experience of, of life. Uh, I'll share a brief experience from the tornado. Uh, Mrs. Wisniewski uh, is well known at this point. She's been interviewed and I think it's been uh, reported across the country. Uh, she was praying her rosary during the tornado in her home and as her roof blew off uh, and glass was being uh, thrown around all over the place, she was untouched and uh, held firm to that rosary. So our Blessed Mother took good care of her. We'll ask our Blessed Mother to take care of all of us. There are um, a lot of things that we continue to uh, look forward to this summer. We pray that God will provide a, a good kickoff to the summer on Memorial Day weekend this weekend. I uh, hope you and your families have a little bit of downtime and can uh, get out and enjoy. It looks like it might be a beautiful uh, Memorial Day weekend. And I uh, know that's the kickoff to a lot of the beauty of the northern Michigan experience of uh, perhaps camping and going to lakes and being out in the beauty of the outdoors and enjoying a nice sunset. 
And uh, lastly, I'm going to be heading up to Mackinac Island for the first time today. The Knights of Columbus uh, are holding their state convention, and I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Ever since I uh, came here, people have been saying, you've got to go to Mackinac Island. So I am looking forward to that experience for the next few days. And I want to thank you once again for checking in and for keeping all of the needs of the Diocese of Gaylord in your prayers.